Today is the story of David versus Goliath, when a David, or in this case Elon, took on a Goliath, which in this case is a hundred-year-old company, Boeing, and not only did he take them on, but he beat them, even though Goliath was given a bigger weapon and more budget than David. How did he do this, and how did the young startup company SpaceX beat the historical icon Boeing? Make sure you watch this entire video so that you don't miss out on anything. Boeing is a giant, an absolute colossus in the aviation industry, and despite being one of the founding partners of NASA since 1958. This old known company has a very good seat at the NASA table and has won the contract after contract working with NASA. The story began in 2010, when Boeing won a contract to partner with NASA to replace the fast aging and unsustainable space shuttle program in order to keep pushing astronauts to the space station. Actually, Boeing was a good fit for NASA's needs at that time, but unfortunately, times haven't been that kind to this beast of a company in recent times. Following the retirement of the space shuttle fleet in 2011, the US did not have any way to get to and from the ISS and was relying on third parties to hitch a ride. NASA commissioned a huge establishment with Boeing, you know, that kind of large multi-billion dollar company that's been making plans for a few decades, along with seemingly taking a risk on this young upstart mad inventor named Elon Musk and his company, SpaceX. SpaceX's goal was to develop a new and fully reusable space transportation system which would allow both payloads and eventually human cargo to be taken to and from ISS and eventually beyond. Now, as you may have noticed, when you're in the club, you get some benefits. The bad news for Elon and SpaceX is that they just weren't in the club. This is exactly the classic tale of David and Goliath, establishment against the new upstart rebel and then this happened. On 30 May 2020, when the first manned launch by SpaceX, it was a game changer. So let's see how SpaceX ended up winning the race against the giant. This is how it panned out. Boeing got an initial contract for $4.3 billion to complete the development of the Starliner and carry out six manned missions to the ISS. SpaceX was given a seemingly paltry $2.5 billion with pretty much the same mission parameters. Another way of looking at it, NASA was willing to pay Boeing $90 million for a seat to space, but SpaceX would only be given $55 million. This was based around four seats and six missions. In one of many tweets, Elon complained that it's not fair Boeing gets so much more for doing exactly the same thing. But this is Elon, not anyone else, so this was more than a fair fight. Boeing decided to go with the solution of a Starliner capsule sitting on top of their Atlas V rocket, where SpaceX went with its Crew Dragon capsule on top of its Falcon 9 booster rocket. This is when it started to get into choppy waters for Boeing. Everyone started to make a comparison and maybe even a race to see how SpaceX and Boeing were getting along. The bad news for Boeing is that they are an old established, some would say slow to act company, going up against one of the most phenomenal entrepreneurs of the last 100 years our friend Elon. If you've read any of Elon's biographies, you'll know that he can push his people a lot harder than certainly old established Boeing employees would be likely to work. Guess what it showed? When astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley boarded Crew Dragon in May 2020, it was a watershed moment, which meant that NASA no longer needed to rely on Russian aging rockets to supply the ISS. They spent two months on the ISS completing experiments and then safely returned back to the Earth. But where was Starliner, you might ask? Well, unfortunately, they were meant to launch on August 3rd, 2021, which would have been a critical unmanned test to the ISS. Bad news has continued to follow the Starliner, though, as pre-launch tests revealed problems with stuck valves, pushing back this test launch to early 2022. During the same time that Starliner has continued to have these problems, SpaceX has completed several missions for NASA with its Crew Dragon capsule, even completing the first nighttime splashdown landing since 1968. To make things worse, apparently, astronauts are even praising SpaceX's spacesuits, saying that it's much easier to get in and out of zero-g. Moreover, NASA moved two astronauts from Boeing Starliner launches to a 2022 SpaceX mission. In fact, Boeing had a chance to make things look different had it not been for an incident in December 2019. This incident was a signature launch where the Starliner capsule was to dock with the ISS and offload supplies before further planned manned flights. Although the capsule did return safely to Earth, with a software error that meant that the rendezvous in space was completely missed. At that time, NASA realized that there were going to be big issues with Boeing delivering on time. 
While NASA did not pay too much attention to the software being used in Boeing's project, they did pay a lot of attention to what Musk was doing. Bad news again for Boeing, Musk had built multiple software companies and products, so this was his home territory. Even the design of the SpaceX cockpit is considered so much nicer, well, almost like a Tesla. When compared to the Boeing, which is more like the old space shuttle design with hundreds of switches, panels, sticks, etc. SpaceX's sleek design touchscreen beauty and as the capsule is mostly flying with the use of the software, the crew is mostly just enjoying the ride. SpaceX did go through its own severe trials when three failed launches nearly put the company out of business. The fourth successful launch meant that NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract to supply the ISS, and without this contract, SpaceX would have gone bust as it simply does not have the cash reserves that a company like Boeing does. SpaceX will now continue its missions with NASA along with active participation in the soon-to-grow space tourism industry. This truly is a story of David beating Goliath. It is deeply embarrassing that a company as large as Boeing with its deep cash reserves can be beaten at its own space game that it's been playing for 80 years by a startup entrepreneur. What do you think are the reasons for this? Hey, if you're like us and just love everything space related, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that Mission Control knows to send you more videos like this one.